Hello there, it's me, Lamer Gamer. Hope you're all doing well. Now, today's video is a video on background removal. I'm going to show you three ways in which to remove your background. There's the traditional chroma key with the green screen behind you way. There's a way of doing it with a separate piece of software, called, which I'm going to use called VCAM, which is by a company called XSplit. And then the third way is I'm going to try and show you something I've never used before. So it's going to be interesting to do it with completely brand new, fresh eyes on it, which is OBS's new plugin, which is free and will hopefully do the same job as the uh, VCAM software, which I believe retails at about $60. If you do like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell so you know every time I go live and post a new video. I also stream regularly on Twitch, and I'm also starting to stream a bit more on YouTube now. Now, let's go get the green screen. Actually, before I grab the green screen, in case any of you wanted to know what my room looks like that I actually stream in, it looks like this. Not that impressive to be fair, I've got a guitar case over there in the corner and yeah. I see some streamers with really awesome setups in their background uh, and this is by no means me telling people that they should remove, everybody should be working with a transparent background. This is just my personal preference on how I like to stream, I like to remove the background because then that way I can do interactive things on the stream and make it look the way I want to. But I also find video background removal really useful as well for things like tutorials in case I want to put my head in front of a screen or something like that. I also have just noticed that my camera is not in the center. So I'm just gonna move it along a little bit. And there we go. So what we are trying to do here is show a transparent background behind me, which looks sort of like this. And that is the look we are trying to get with both the green screen, OBS's plugin, and the XCAM vSplit software. So first of all, we're gonna start with the green screen, which is probably the most commonly used way to remove a background. So let's go back to original. So the first thing you're going to need is a green screen. And luckily I've got one or two on the wall here. So I'll go grab it now. Now the green screen I've got is one that attaches to the back of my gaming chair. So that's what I use. I'll put a link to it in the description below if you want to find out where I got mine from. There are also ones that are square that you can prop up behind you. But this is just a personal preference once again, because I like to have the freedom to move around in my chair. But yeah, so I'll go grab that green screen out and set it up and you can see what it looks like. Okay, so here we are. There is, I'm here with my green screen. As you can see, it doesn't cover everything that the camera picks up. So already I'm limited by the, the distance between either side of my uh, green screen. Okay, so I'm just gonna minimize this down now so you can see my OBS and see how it looks. So here I am in OBS. All I have now is my camera, um, the screen that is capturing my OBS screen, as you can see it now and my microphone so you can hear me. So to be able to chroma key out this background behind me, you right click on your camera, or you add a new camera if you haven't. To add a new camera, you go add, video capture device, create new, give it a name, and then find the webcam that you use. Mine runs through the XCAM V split software. So there it is, there's the camera I've already added to remove the background. You, get, you right click on VCAM here, you click filters and then you click on effect filter the plus sign below effect filters here and then you go to chroma key I'm gonna call it something like green screen and then press OK and already it's tried to find the green that is on my green screen um, you can pick different colors as well blue magenta custom if you click custom it will give you um, options of color you can even put in color codes as well but for this I'm just going to use the default green which is here because for instance if I was to use blue it would probably make my t-shirt see-through well it's made everything see-through to be fair so uh, we'll go back to green shall we so there's green um, you can toggle the similarity so you get something so the less similar it is to that particular green then you can have issues but all I do here is I do this until it goes pretty transparent and then I just play with the smoothness so that we make sure that the background is definitely cut out which as you can see here it's pretty grey and it's doing a pretty good job so I don't need to press OK or anything like that so because it's saved I'm going to press close and then I'm just going to maximize this so you can see me in front of the screen and as you can see most of well all of the green is, is gone it is transparent and all you can see is the screen behind me and all you need to do now is to uh, crop the video to suit the green screen you have. So to do this in OBS, you, you obviously select the VCAM or the webcam that you're using. 
And then on this red border, you get these little arrows, you hold down Alt, then you left click and you drag it across. You essentially crop the uh, green screen. And then you do it the other side. And then there you are. You are completely transparent in front and you can move yourself all around the scene and do whatever you like. So that there is one way of doing this. Uh, and then if we go back to the other scene with the color full background, you'll see here that once again, the webcam needs to be adjusted. So I could cut that in like so. And there we go. The only problem, like I said, with the green screen version, like I have, is that you're limited by the size. So at the moment, you have to just like perform in this like box. Otherwise, the moment you go out, you go out. But also then you start bringing in the outside world. So one way you could do this is by lowering your camera or lowering the green screen further down so that obviously you, you show less. But yeah, that's one way to do it. If you have a big square green screen, you shouldn't have this problem. Just make sure that your green screen is evenly lit. What I'm going to do now is reset my um, webcam back. So we're back here. All I'm going to do now is move myself over to the corner and remove the filter we've just added. So to remove that or just hide it, you go, to, you select your camera with the right click. You then select filters. And then where your new filter is, you then just press the little eye and it hides the filter, I guess, is the correct term. And there you go. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to use a piece of software called XSplit VCam to do pretty much the same thing. And then I'll just shrink it down so you can see a bit more. So to do this, we need to go to a website. So the website I've gone to is xsplit.com forward slash VCam. There you can download it and there you are. It's a free piece of software that you can use. However, there are issues with the free software. The first one being that you do get a watermark on it. Um, if you don't mind paying for it, then you can actually get a premium version. If you do like this, the, the thought of using this product, you can go and press upgrade in the top right hand corner and it gives you the various um, options to buy a lifetime subscription which will remove the watermarks and stuff like that they are upgrade x clan v split to remove watermark but let's do it as if we had a watermark shall we so, so in this instance we would have gone to xsplit website xsplit.com we would have gone to products we would have gone to vcam and then we would have downloaded vcam i don't know what version you'll be downloading but it'll be this um, then you will come to this program so i'm not logged in at the moment as you can see there it says log in to use your xsplit license so what I've done is I've cropped down my um, screen because um, VCam doesn't go full screen. So all you can see now is this up here. As you can see, you've got a little watermark that's appeared. However, if you do have a premium version, that will go. One thing this can do is you can instantly click remove and it's removed the background for me, literally straight away. You can see um, in here in the top right, the preview there, that you can't actually see the watermark. So it is quite funny because you think oh it's gone and then you look at the actual camera and you see here still above my head that the watermark is still there um, but you can also add your own custom background so here's a sea of thieves tavern um, you can even add videos so this is some fire that i had in the background for some reason um yeah and you can even have like really cool like look i'm in i'm in the mountains somewhere um you can also blur the backgrounds as well if you don't want it to be fully like visible but that looks kind of rubbish like that. I'm sure there's reasons you'd want to blur the background rather than have like a nice sharp background. I think because I've got the green screen on, it's starting, it's playing a bit with the um, the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to original there and I'm going to remove the back, um, the green screen. <laughs> okay, the green screen's out of the way anyway. It's just on the floor. So the green screen's off and I'm going to press, all I'm going to do is press the button remove. And instantly the background is gone again. So just in case you were worried that I was doing this and hiding it behind a green screen or something like that. Um, things you can do with this as well. If you go, if you right click over here, you can go to more camera settings, webcam settings. You can change different bits and bobs about the camera as well on here like the focus, the brightness, and all that fun stuff. But if you go to the top left here where these three like dashes are, so once you press settings, you can see down the right hand side, um, different things like how the hardware that you're gonna use to do the video edit, um, the video bits. I'm not really technically minded. This is literally what I've learned myself. This is probably just telling you what's gonna process the video down here. 
um, I've set my quality to highest just because um, you can choose different filters there's also question marks on the side that help you figure out what each one does and there's this one here that says remove chair now if I click this the chair should disappear so three two one and there we go in a matter of seconds the chair has gone I like to stream with my chair shown behind me I don't know why it's just a thing it's a preference for myself but that's about it just to show you what it's like without the watermark because I have got a premium version of this that I paid for myself um, you go log in okay so I've now logged in and this is what it looks like as you can see no more um, watermark but that's about it really so yeah that is XSplit's vCam software in case you wanted to use that so the reason I like that version of um, removing your background is because one you're not limited to the um, the size of the green screen like I have been in the past um, so I can actually like go out to the extents of where my camera can see which is brilliant um, and the other reason is because you don't have to keep it evenly lit um, obviously good lighting will help so for instance if I turn my lights off now it probably struggle because so as you can see here there's like a little bit like appearing around the top right by my head um, but yeah it doesn't struggle that much you need to have good lighting anyway just so it gives the software the best chance to find the the right settings for you so the third and final way of doing this is um, a way I've only just recently found out that OBS can do and that is to use OBS's background removal plugin so to do that what we have to do is we have to go and search for the plugin first of all which you can find here okay so I've removed the background um, removal tool I guess on um, the vcam software just so you can see everything I can see okay so as you can see I'm on this web page here in OBS and I'm gonna click go to download to get the latest version of this background removal plugin so you click go to download okay so now I'm onto this page where it tells us about the latest versions of it and what I'm going to do now is scroll down to here where it says assets and at the bottom you've got a choice between a beta version or beta or however you say it um, a Mac version and a Windows version and now as I'm working on a Windows PC I'm going to use this one so if you click it it will instantly download here in the bottom left once that's finished downloading open it up so now I've opened up the um, the zip file I'm going to select both data and OBS plugins I'm going to right click and press copy files to clipboard and then I'm going to navigate to OBS studio on my PC yours might be installed somewhere else so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my C drive I'm then going to click on program files there's one here that says OBS studio and in here you can see data and OBS plugins so what I'm going to do is go back out I'm going to right click on OBS studio and paste um, you need administrator permissions to move this folder I'm going to press continue and again if I do, do this for all current items that'll be fine And there we go and that is now installed hopefully what we're then going to do is jump into OBS and start playing around with the background removal tool okay so now we've successfully installed the plugin in OBS we're now going to use it so we go back to our scene where we have me on the webcam um, with our brand new webcam that we've installed in this video then we're gonna right click it and then select filters now instead of effect filters where we added the green screen we're gonna go to audio forward slash video filters and what we're going to do is we're going to add one by pressing the plus and there you can see background removal I click there and then I'm, there's no need for me to change that and already it's trying to figure out where my background is which is pretty cool but it's kind of like lobby <laughs> so we're going to have a play around with this now I can see that it's trying to pick up the green screen in the background which is interesting okay so the threshold decides how close to your face it gets so for instance if I go really close I'm just, just going to see through so yeah there's that um, which is a shame really because obviously I, it's picking up the green screen in the background but if I move out it obviously doesn't infringe as much on me um, color percentage of image I have no idea what this does it just seems to make it go mental smoothness to silhouette it just blurs the edges like it's a good tool but I don't understand why it's doing that at the moment it just thinks my hat is the uh, software 
It's funny that it thinks my door is part of my background. Unless I need to get really close. So as you can see, I'm having all sorts of issues with this software. I'm sure there are ways that you can get this to work. I just don't seem to be able to at the moment. It just hates me. But it's a good idea for a plugin. But yeah, I can see the applications for this. It doesn't seem as good as the cam. Okay, so we have tried all three different techniques. We've tried the traditional green screen chroma key version, which works just as well. The only thing is you were limited by the size of your green screen. Um, in my case, because it's a round one, you sort of lose the whole sort of edge of this. Um, good thing is it's it's reliable. It's been used for years, and that's about that. The other one, the, the second option we tried was the VCAM which obviously gave us a watermark that we didn't really like. So if you are able to crop that out, that would be pretty cool. Um, and that's one way of getting around to doing it for free, I guess. Otherwise, you're going to end up paying $60, I think it is, for a lifetime subscription, which for something that allows me to do what I want without blurs happening everywhere, um, it's quite useful. I'm using it right now. Um, there's no real lag or massive drain on your PC or the, the processing power. Um, and then the third option we tried, which was OBS's way of doing it completely free using a plugin. Unfortunately, it appears though the plugin probably still needs a bit more work because it was picking up things like the door and, and items around the room, which although the um, VCAM did do, it didn't do it to that sort of level. And yeah, it was just quite untamable, if that's the right word. But I've seen other streamers use it and I see that it does work for some people. It just didn't seem to happen to work for me today. So that wraps up how to remove backgrounds in your stream or on your webcam in one of three ways. If you did like this video and want to see more of it, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the little bell so you get notified every time I go live or post a new video. I stream regularly on Twitch and I'm also starting to stream a bit more now on YouTube. So please catch me on either of those and ask me whatever questions you have. In the meantime, you take care and I'll see you online. Cheers.